On a WOSN, it is a Division II District Championship night here. And a big one we've got for you at Liberty Bend High School as the top seeded Defiance Bulldogs take on the third seeded Van Wert Cougars. Hello again, everyone, alongside my partner, Miles Holliday. I'm Randy Roberts. Partner, you were here a couple of nights ago, saw a couple of really good semifinals. Now we're settled in. A couple of WBL rivals set to square off once again with the winner headed off to Bowling Green for the regional next week. Oh, where else would you rather be than right here, right now, Randy Roberts? The energy in this building is through the roof. This is the biggest game in Northwest Ohio, maybe this year. They unlocked the doors at 5.30 for a seven o'clock tip to allow fans to enter. And the Defiance side filled up quickly. They are still shoehorning themselves in. Van Wert making a late appearance, although they are getting the middle sections filled up. Don't think we're gonna quite be sold out like they were some places earlier this afternoon. Understand a standing room only large crowd for Spencerville and Ottawa Glandorf at Lima Seniors. You see the crowd looking, uh, the crowd shots there. This place filling up and for good reason, they're gonna be treated to what should be a pretty good district championship game here tonight. Yeah, of course, Van Wert, well documented. The Cinderella story, big win over St. Mary's. How about the miraculous shot by, by the man of the hour, A.J. Prophet. The corner three carries them into the day. And of course, Defiance had a really tough battle against Shawnee, but took care of business in the mm -hmm. second half. They did just enough defensively, really limited a high-powered Shawnee team. Had 20 points in the first half, limited them to only 38 the rest of the game. Now we'll take a look at that uh, bracket here in Division Two to show you how the teams that got to this uh, district final. Miles had mentioned the uh, semifinals for Van Wert, the number three seed, knocked off second seed at St. Mary's, an all-time classic by 56-55 uh, with the uh, three-pointer in the corner at the horn. And then as Miles said, Defiance very methodically, never really shook Shawnee all night. We're eventually able to pull away and win that one 65-58, but Indians did make it close and trimmed what was a decent lead down to 54-52, and Defiance had to earn it down the stretch. Really impressed with Defiance, especially early, because Shawnee, 20 points in that first quarter. It looked like it was gonna be one of those 80-point Shawnee-type wins, mm -hmm. but Defiance really clapped down defensively, took care of the basketball. This is a team, Randy, that only turned it over about eight, nine times a game. Tough to beat a team when they take care of the basketball. Of course, a big night for Braden Shaw. Not only did he score 25 points, to lead the Bulldogs, but got a big milestone marker as well, going over 1,000 for his career. Yeah, and it's real tough too. Coach Lehman did a great job complimenting him when I talked to him. He said, look, he could have hunted for those 13 points early in the game. A lot of kids would, right? Mm -hmm. Not not Braden Shaw. He let the game come to him. He's really improved in that manner from a year ago, especially two years ago, where the game comes to him and he kind of fills that role when his team needs some points. That's when he steps forward. Otherwise, he's a facilitator. And Caden Zacharich added 18 for the uh, Bulldogs, and we'll talk about them more in depth when we take a look at their uh, starting lineup. But uh, obviously those two, and we've said it every time we've seen Defiance this year, those are the main hosses for this Bulldog team. Uh, absolutely. How many times have you seen a team have 2,000 point scorers in one year? You don't see it very often, right? Those two carry the load. Who's the third guy? Well, it doesn't really matter because always someone uh, someone always steps forward for this Bulldog team, scores some points, and they're going to need some points because this is a, a Van Wert team. Randy, they can score points too. If you want to go up and down mm -hmm. with Van Wert, they're more than happy to do that. So Defiance comes in at 20 and 4. Van Wert, meanwhile, at 17 and 7. We started top of our pregame talking about it, reached uh, this district final. Thanks again to that three-pointer by A.J. Profit at the horn from the corner, 56-55. But that wasn't the only triple Profit had. He had four threes to lead the Cougars with 12 points in that district semifinal win. Yeah, him and Carson Smith, they needed points from the perimeter to beat St. Mary's, and they both delivered. Of course, uh, none bigger than one that, that A.J. Profit delivered. And will he ever have to pay for another meal in Van Wert the rest of his life? Yeah, the community of Van Wert, make sure that young man, all his meals are free. Garrett Gunter added 10 points, while Aiden Pratt, numbers might not have been there, nine points, nine rebounds, but you have a feeling, and especially tonight, if Van Wert wants to win 
that uh, he'll be a f he'll have some sort of effect on this one tonight. Uh, he's such a fantastic athlete, isn't he? And he did not back down from that matchup against Austin Parks. He kind of relished in it. Did a great job of fighting on the rebounds to get to competitive against Parks. This is a young man that is highly skilled. As we know, he's going to go to the University of Finley and play football. Great mm -hmm. quarterback, tremendous athlete. Randy, you mentioned his 20 points, 9 rebounds, but I submit to you, 45 blocks and 36 steals, which leads the team. He is a great all-around player. Let's take a look at the starting lineups uh, for this one tonight as we uh, get uh, closer to the start of this one. Let's start with the Van Wert Cougars. You see Nate Phillips, Luke Whistle, Carson Smith, Garrett Gunter, and Aiden Pratt, the starting five for head coach Ben Lauder. Yeah, kind of lost in the fact of the great shot that was made by A.J. Prophet. The incredible quickness of Nate Phillips that got the ball to him. Originally, they were supposed to call timeout at half court, but Phillips evaded the uh, foul givers of St. Mary's, who had four to give, found the open uh, Prophet in the corner. He is quicker in a hiccup. Keep your eye on uh, Nate Phillips. And then we'll take a look at the starting lineup tonight for the Defiance Bulldogs. It's been the Usual starting five each and every time we've seen Defiance this year. Braden Shaw, Aiden Kiesling, David Jimenez, Isaac Schlatter, and Caden Sackridge for head coach Bryn Lehman. Now the guy I really like is Isaac Schlatter. The, the big fella, 6.4 rebounds, but he comes up with timely baskets. If he was in another program at another school, he'd be a double-digit scorer all the time. Mm -hmm. But that's not his role with this team. He's a rebounder. He's a, a, a screen setter. He's a, a glue guy. He's what makes this, this team in blue really go forward. We're going to take a quick timeout. When we come back, we'll take a look at your keys to the game as we get set for this Division II district final between Defites and Van Wert here on WOSN. Brady Roberts, Miles Holiday, back with you here from Liberty Benton High School, the site of this Division II Boys uh, District Championship game. The winner of this one's going to move on. They'll play Thursday night at the Stroh Center on the campus of the Bowling Green State University. They'll get either Rossford or Toledo Central Catholic, who uh, are playing or playing tonight for the right to uh, advance in the tournament. Now, Rossford, very impressive in their win over Wasian. Uh, they're, they're playing tremendous the basketball. Young man by the last name of Forrest going to play at Indiana State. Keep your eye on him. His father, the uh, head coach of that program as well, as Rossford's really turned things around as I try to pull up my WOSN app, let you know that's also a 7 o'clock start at Lake High School for Rossford and Toledo Central Catholic. So before we get to our keys to the uh, game here, I think we're going to have a quick national anthem. We'll turn things over to the PA announcer here at Liberty Bank. Between the Van Wert Cougars and the Defiance Bulldogs. for the playing of our national anthem.
got them taken care of here in Liberty Bend. And that means it's time for only one thing. Miles, take it away. Let's take a look at our keys to the game in this one. All right, partner, let's start with Van Wert. Number one, go, go, Gunter. Keep an eye. Number 10, Garrett Gunter. Boy, he is an assist machine. Very quick with the dribble. Tough to take the ball away from. Five assists a game. Number two, defensive rebounds. If they don't uh, defensive rebound tonight, Randy, they're going to go home with frowns on their faces. Got to go get and attack the defensive boards. And then number three, the profit margin. It is huge. Boy, was it. A.J. Profit, a man that is going to live in history for Van Wert. Unbelievable three. You mentioned how many threes he had in the game. He is the hot hand. Make sure if you're defiance that you don't let him catch and shoot. And the keys to the game tonight for the Defiance Bulldogs. The gang of eight, eight seniors on this team. They have a unique bond according to Coach Lehman. They want to make sure that they are playing for each other tonight. So the gang of eight got to be real important here. And number two, the lead dog. He has some fight. Boy, he does. How about Braden Shaw? Number two, 23 points the other night. Averages 19 a game. The lead dog going to have to lead for the Bulldogs tonight. And then number three, sit, stay. Good dog. Good dog. Yes, you are. Yes, good dog. Sit in front of Van Wert. Stay in front of Van Wert. You're going to be a good dog playing good defense. Good defense gets defiance to win here tonight. So looking forward to what should be a good one as they're going through the announcements of our starting lineups here. So that'll, actually, that'll give us the opportunity if we can. See if we can take a look at those starting lineups. So once again, as we keep our producer Ken Reeker on his toes, again, the starting lineup tonight for Van Wert. Nate Phillips, Luke Wessel, Carson Smith, Garrett Gunter, and Aiden Pratt. And the starting lineup tonight for the Defiance Bulldogs. Brayton Shaw, Aiden Kiesling, David Jimenez, Isaac Schlatter, and Caden Zachary. Should mention this game, a rematch of a game played earlier in the regular season. Defiance knocked off the Cougars 51-44 at Defiance. That came before Christmas back on December the 16th. Kane Zachrich at 23, Isaac Schlatter at 16. Brayton Shaw, and I circled and noted it, held to eight in my notes. Aiden Pratt led Van Wert with 14. Garrett Gunter, Luke Wessel each had 10. Well, it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? Van Wert's like, hey, we held Shaw to eight points, but he also lost the game. So was was also for Van Wert, I believe, the third game of the year because of the late start due to uh, football. As uh, Defiance won the rebounding battle that night, 27-19. Why do I mention that? Because you might look at Defiance and you might be impressed with their size sometimes, and coaches will admit this, the, the Defiance coaches, not just coaches in general, Rebounding sometimes hasn't been their strong suit this year. Uh, it's vastly improved, though, over even a year ago. They out-rebounded their opponents uh, by a, a plus-five margin on this year. And, uh, partner, before we get going a little bit too fast, you see in the right-hand corner, that's Coach Bryn Lehman right there. Not only did they have a big win this week, but you know what happened for him on Tuesday? Hmm. His wife gave birth to oh, well, a brand-new brand baby boy. Cameron joined the Lehman crew right there. So, uh, Coach, what a great week for you. So another Coach Lehman, a part of the family yeah. now. Yeah, he'll be shooting the basketball before <laughs> long, right? <laughs> So wrapping up the starting lineups to fights because they are the higher seed, the number one seed, the home whites. The crisp white and blue, Van Wert in the red with a little uh, gray trim in the whites. Every time I see this defiance a uniform combination, it takes me back to a little old school Duke. It does. Yeah, I remember Mark Gallery with Duke wearing these uh, blue and whites back in the day. Very classic look. And the officials uh, for tonight's contest you see Ben Kramer, Aaron Braun, Paul Wigglewitch. We've been uh, assured by the Defiance coaching staff, three of the best. Also, and we talked about this a little bit the last time we were together, these three have spent quite a bit of time working together, and we'll see what that does for tonight. I think that's vital in the tournament that officials have familiarity with each other. And we're talking to James Zachert, one of the assistant coaches for Defiance. He said they chart, keep track of how officials like to call games. Mm -hmm. They share that with their players. I think that's a smart thing. They'll settle in. Looking forward to what should be a good one. If you haven't made the trip yet to uh, Liberty Benton, you might be out of luck. They're still trying to file in on the Defiance side. They might be closing the doors here before too long. 
Did expect this sellout, but it's going to be close. Defiance is going to win the opening tip, and they're going to win the opening bucket of the night as Brayton Shaw able to get right to the scoreboard, and it's 2-0 on the Lottich Jewelry scoreboard. Now, great offensive tip. Zachrich won it. Got it to the lead dog. Brayden Shaw gets it started for the Bulldogs early. Cougars set up in the half court. There's the entry pass down to the low block. Trying to get inside, a little too far under the basket, but a little adjustment, and Aiden Pratt able to score for Van Wert. Yeah, nice athletic ability by Pratt. Quick off the floor, gets his own miss, ties this thing back up at two. Again, our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South at Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Shaw will get the bucket once again. He's got four quick ones for the Bulldogs. Now it's going to be a fun matchup for Van Wert. They have Phillips on Shaw. That time Shaw was able to evade him. Pull up jumper from the baseline. No good out of Luke Wessel, but an offensive rebound and a reset for the Cougars. Now it looks like Defiance is going to lock Shaw on Go Go Gunter. That is a great matchup of two lead point guards. Gunter got a screen. Now they go inside once again. Ball's going to be knocked free, but Van Wert. Maintain possession as Wessel comes out to the wing. And now they'll reset the offense with Aiden Pratt. Uh, Zachrich is going to be on Pratt. And Coach uh, Lehman told me that they're doing this by design. They want to entice Pratt to be a perimeter player, thinking that they can shoot over top Zachrich. They don't want him to be an on-the-block kind of player. Pratt gets the entry pass, working that low block. We'll back into the corner. He'll take that long-range shot, misses. And it is uh, Brayton Shaw comes away with a miss. Shaw thought about the pull-up jump from the free throw line. Gets it back. He's got the hot hand with all four. Well, he checked three off the heel of the iron. Rebound is then tipped out of bounds, and it's going to belong to Van Wert. A nice job of positioning by Carson Smith playing that weak side rebound. 80% of all rebounds go to the weak side. Carson Smith knew it. Van Wert takes over with the basketball. Two minutes in, 4-2 here this district final. Winner's going to get the Toledo Central Catholic Rossford in the regional at Bowling Green. This meeting, by the way, the 137th all-time between two longtime rivals. Baseline jumper again. Pratt will take that, buries it. Now two big players for each team off to great starts. Shaw with four points, and Pratt equals it with four that time from the baseline. So when you said lead dog, were you talking about lead dog for the Cougars or lead dog for Defiance? Good little give and go off the heel of the iron. No good out of Schlatter. And here comes Van Wert in transition. Now how impressive is that? Pratt gets the rebound and then leads the break. Six foot four, dribbling it to half court. Now a little spin -a rooney in the lane. Good bounce pass into the corner. Nice job holding his ground. Schlatter defensively tries to tie up Gunter. Three ball is going to be no good. Rebound again, knocked out of bounds. And it's going to stay Cougar basketball. And good ball movement gets Phillips an open look from the top of the key. This is a Van Wert team that shoots a three at about 32% clip on the year. They are red hot early and often against St. Mary's. A little bit cool starting out tonight. Cougar's going to take all five seconds to get the inbound in. It goes to Pratt in the corner. He'll fire the three from there and buries it. Now big time players and big time moments. Love big time games. Aiden Pratt, he's big time. Pratt was held to nine when these two met in the regular season. He's already got seven in the first two plus minutes as the Cougars with the early lead. Defiance did this against Shawnee back in the semifinal. Three ball top of the key, no good that time by Aiden Kiesling. And here's Van Wert, and they'll look to push. Now remember one of our keys, defensive rebounding. Uh, Van Wert dominating the defensive boards. One and done for the Bulldogs. Wessel gets into the paint, tries to go with the left hand. Zacharich in the new haircut on him, and now we get a whistle inside and a travel. Hey, this is really good discipline defensively. Zacharich just stays on the floor, knowing that he has the reach advantage over Wessel. And he entices the travel and gets it. And you mentioned the new haircut for Caden Zacharich. And I believe we were promised by mom He's lighter and will give us a dunk. Is that what? That's what she said. That's There's what she a said. breakaway. He's going to have it. That's right. you got to love the mind of a teenager at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and says, Mom, I need a haircut. Right now. A drive to the lane about that left-handed score by Braden Shaw. Now Van Wert's going to have to figure out some help because Phillips 
has been no match early for Braden Shaw. Van Wert will answer in the other end of the move by Garrett Gunter. Go, go, Gunter gets it. You see his quickness delivers for the Cougars. This one so far as advertised, 9-6 in our Lodix Jewelry scoreboard. Still three and a half minutes to go in quarter number one. You think uh, Aiden Pratt looked at Gunter and said, what are you doing? I'm supposed to score. This one rejected inside. Pratt might have got a hand on that one. Van Wert with a two on one, and then will end up with a bucket as Nate Phillips able to skid to the bucket. Oh, he's quicker than a hiccup. A great block by Pratt. Better outlet, Phillips. Oh, he's a quick one. And the Van Wert faithful making some noise. They got the rally towels going as well. Still early here in Liberty Benton. Ball knocked away. Good back tabs. Tyler Frederick lost the handle. Cougars forced the turnover. No look pass, and it ends up with the layup by Carson Smith. Oh, this is the tempo that Van Wert loves to play. They are just running and gunning because they're getting it done on the defensive end. Coach Laudick up, trying to get more defense out of his guys. They can't do much better than they've done right now. 13-6, loose ball on the floor, picked up. Defiance will keep it. Entry pass is knocked away. Pratt's got the loose ball. Right now it's four on four. Right to the 10, that one no good. Pratt will clean up and score. Now gonna get a timeout by Defiance. Rightfully so. And Van Wert, do you love your Cougars or what? Timeout on the floor. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We'll step aside as well. 15-6 Van Wert here in quarter number one. Fifteen six here in quarter number one. Van Wert leads Defiance in this Division II boys district final. And if you're a Van Wert Cougar fan, you have to absolutely love the pace that this game has been played at so far. Well, I don't know who does the bus check-in for Van Wert, but whoever made sure that Aiden Pratt was on the bus, you get a, a gold star. Make sure that young man's on the bus always. What a start for Aiden Pratt. He is dominating this game early. And he's got nine of the 15, but he's run the floor as well. Done a little bit of everything so far. I got to get Zachrich involved when he gets back on the floor for Defiance. Having a little bit break right now, going with a quicker lineup. But they're going to have to have his inside presence. Now it's Shaw who's got the hot hand for Defiance. Creates a little space. Base, or his uh, runner in the lane doesn't go. Pratt secures the rebound. Another one and done for Defiance. Van Wert for one of the rare times tonight. Looks like they'll take their time in the offensive end. Working it around into the corner. Three ball doesn't go. Good luck. Luke Wessel just couldn't get it to fall. And now it's the Bulldogs. They'll take the three from the corner. That one spins out. Pratt has the miss. A little early shot. He was clear. Looked like it was going to go down. That would have been a huge shot for Isaac Schlatter. Pratt one on one. Gets rid of the basketball. Van Wert. Overloaded on one side. Now they'll get everyone moving once again. Now I gotta spread the floor, put a lot of pressure on this Defiance defense. Gotta make sure you sit and stay. Be a good dog for Defiance. Try to dig out of this nine point hole. Gunter, good spin move high off the window. Can't get it to go. And it's Schlatter who comes away with the rebound. And normally it'd be a one shot opportunity here for Defiance, but you're down nine. Try to get a point early. Shaw right to the basket is able to score. He's got all eight. For Defiance, we'll see what Van Wert does. Here's a lot of substitutions that want to come in, and we'll see if they come in in this quarter, if they got to wait till the quarter break. Wow, contact right now, pull-up jumper, Pratt, good from the elbow. And how about the elevation by Aiden Pratt? He is just a fantastic player in the intensity. 11 so far here in the opening quarter. See what Defiance do. Four seconds to go. 
three ball, can't get it, tip in is no good, Van Wert gets the miss, and that is how our opening quarter will end. So good start for Van Wert. They jump out to the 17-8 lead, we'll take a break. Watching High School Basketball Live on WOSN. Well, we can make it Aiden Pratt 11, Brayden Shaw 8. I know it says 17-8 on the scoreboard there, but those two put on a show in quarter number one. <laughs> 9 for Pratt, 8 for Shaw, right? 11. Oh, 11. 11 for Pratt and uh, 8 for Shaw. Boy, the big stars have showed up in a big way. Brian's got to get Caden Zacharich going and find an easy basket so they can relax on offense. It'll be a Van Wert ball as we begin quarter number two. And keep your eye on uh, Khalil Lingon, number 23 for Defiance, a super sophomore. Had a huge three the other night. Pratt with a dribble handoff. We'll go opposite of him, trying to go baseline. And a good roll off the rim as Carson Smith gets his second basket of the evening. Uh, just too many shots from eight foot and in for this uh, Defiance defense. Van Wert loves the dribble drive. Defiance hasn't stopped it yet. Bulldog set up here is Khalil Ligon. He'll get rid of the basketball. Shaw straight away three. Needs a bounce, but it still counts as he gets it. Well, I don't know if Van Wert just says, we'll let Shaw score and limit everybody else, but they're going to have to do something differently because whatever they're working on Shaw is just not getting it done. Pratt thought about matching. Instead, they'll go into the corner. There's a drive and a score out of Luke Wessel. Now Luke Wessel doesn't get a lot of pub, but he is a solid player. Nine points a game, four rebounds. This time uses the left hand, goes through the contact, and delivers. Looks like Saldana gonna get whistled for the foul. Wessel at the line to try to convert a three-point play. Or free throw sponsored tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. A little high ball screen coming up with Zacharich. Three ball is no good. And Gunter comes away with a miss. He's going to weave his way through traffic. It's the kick out. Van Wert just playing with all sorts of confidence right now. Cougars have the Bulldogs doubled up. Pratt spins. Double team. Pass is deflected as Shaw is trying to make some new friends in the front row of the scores table. Now Saldana recognized how hot Pratt is when he spun to his left hand. He came over and helped Zacharich kind of stymied what Van Wert had going offensively. Van Wert will inbound once again back to Gunter. Pratt that low block, this time just pulls up, can't get it to go, and we'll have a foul as someone on Van Wert and flying in to try to get the offensive rebound. You know, one of the few times uh, Aiden Pratt has missed. Zacharich just doing his best, trying to stay in front, gets a hand in the face just enough. Good rebound by David Jimenez. You know, get back in the game, you got to do little things first. And check that one off, got a defensive stop. I believe it was Luke Wessel picked up the foul. It's going to be his first, first of the night. A whistle against Van Wert here with 619 and counting. Left to go quarter number two on our Lottix Jewelry scoreboard. Turnaround jumper, Zacharich is no good. Rebound is tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay with Defiance. Now Pratt is arguing that Jimenez had knocked it off of, his, off of him. It should be Van, Van Wert's ball, but really the first offensive time that they've got an opportunity for an offensive rebound finally stays here with the possession. A little bit of life on the offensive boards for Defiance. And Nate Phillips, A.J. Profit enter the contest. Zacharich trying to turn around. We'll get a big swipe and believe a foul. Might be coming against Aiden Pratt here as we take a look at the replay. Yeah, such a tough matchup for Carson Smith. Giving up inches and girth. Zacharich right there sporting that new haircut. The man with 1,001 post moves breaks out one there. He's going to go to the line where he'll hit the first free throw for his first point of the night. First point not scored by someone named Braden Shaw for Defiance. Gets the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. And he'll get them both. Now let's see if that settles Zacharich down. Now sometimes in these big games, nerves can be a factor. You wonder if Defiance was battling those early in the early parts of this game. Back to a single digit lead at nine. 
Gunner into the paint. Pulls up, a little hesitation move, too strong. Two Bulldogs fight for the rebound, and Zacharich has it. Outlet out to Schlatter, give behind him your Zacharich. He's working around. Shaw, take on three defenders, high off the glass, wanted to call on the contact, didn't get it. Now Van Wert with some numbers, trying to race back defensively his defiance, but Nate Phillips able to score. Now the run out's off of defensive rebounds for Van Wert. A huge factor in this basketball game. Yet another one, almost a 3 0 break. Back to the biggest lead of the night tonight for Van Wert. Kiesling spins, trying to get it high off the window. Offensive rebound, a putback. Good out of Caden Zacharich. And finally, some life on the offensive boards for Defiance. They're going to need offensive rebounds to get back in this ball game. Pratt gives it off to Gunter. Three-man game, top of the key. Pratt turns down the three, and we'll get a little contact before his drive, and I believe this will be a foul on Zacharich. Now Zacharich just had a tough time staying in front of Pratt. Had to go out a little bit because Pratt had buried a three, kind of caught in no man's land. Pratt the quicker of the foot, beat Zacharich and had to get the foul. Just the second team foul whistled on Defiance. Good bounce pass on the uh, inbound. Had a play set up under the basket. A little mishandle. Force Van Wert to send it out top of the key. Pratt calls for it in a double team. He'll have it taken away. Arms tangled up inside. Officials are going to let him play on. Yeah, great anticipation by Kiesling. Coach Lehman calls him the best defensive player on the team. Zacharich tries to go up over triple team, and he does. Oh, where are the goggles with the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar alike? Little baby hook. Zacharich now with six. And the lead down to seven uh, for the Cougars. That shot got the student section back in this game. Van Wert reset the offense, not played at the pace we were playing at in that opening quarter. Well, the difference is Defiance making a, uh, some shots. They were missing all kinds of shots. Defensive boards were leading to fast breaks. Defiance is settled in defensively now. Three ball taken well off the wing. That's going to be no good by Profit. Defiance gets the miss. You can feel the energy starting to change in here, especially if Defiance does something with the ball right here. Well, give and go, Zacharich for the give to Schlatter who finishes off. Uh, just like that, new life for Defiance. Only down five. Van Wert has been held scoreless here for a couple of minutes. We near the three minute mark on our Lodic Jewelry scoreboard. No look pass out to Profit, who hits his first triple of the night. As Akers got caught on a switch with Profit, didn't close out in time, and the man of the hour from the other night delivers yet again for Van Wert. Just like that, lead back to eight for the Cougars. Schlatter off the wing, gets rid of it. There's one of those moves about the uh, fake and then the opposite turnaround. Give eight for Zacharich. A great recognition. Saw Wessel was on him, giving up about four inches. Good turnaround by Zacharich. Trying to get into the paint. Caden Schaefer, he'll get rid of the basketball. Here's Pratt. That left-handed dribble switches to a right hand. And what a move to get to the score to the bucket. Uh, he's just a matchup nightmare, isn't he? Six foot four athletic and put it on the floor. And the quickness to boot. Who do you put on him? Good news is Defiance held him for about six minutes without scoring. It's his first score here in the second quarter, but he's got 13. Shaw through the paint. He sets the offense. Kiesling, Kiesling into the corner. Tough angle shot is no good. Pratt just comes and takes the big rebound. Here's Phillips. Gives into the corner. Three ball is a big one out of Luke Wessel. Release, rotation, and splash. For Wessel. Third triple tonight for the Cougars. Just like that, back to an 11 point lead, 32 21. Defiance will give to the cutter. 
Kiesling, he'll back out and go as Schlatter able to get to this bucket to score. Now second time, a little backdoor action by Schlatter. Get him involved in a big way offensively for Defiance. Van Wert with the basketball, up nine with a minute to go before halftime. One minute remaining in the half. We'll work it around, here's Phillips in the corner. Back out for Profit and Phillips. As Van Wert may try to run this final minute off the clock. No look pass to Pratt, and he is in no hurry to score. Van Wert content to go into the locker room with that no worse than nine point lead. A little situational basketball right here by Van Wert. Only 27 seconds to go. Pratt calls for a screen, he comes topside. Back over to Profit, and we'll get a lean in as Aiden Kiesling trying to rip the ball away is gonna be called for the foul. Yeah, a little bit of frustration there, playing defense for a full minute. Anytime you reach that far out in front of the official, the whole world can see it, and Kiesling got to deliver. Just the third team foul on Defiance. They still have three to give, should they use them in the final 16.9 seconds of the quarter. Now, you don't have to be a sign language expert. Coach Lehman, you saw him with the 2-3 up. Guess what, Defiance is gonna be in for the last 13 seconds. 2-3 zone, first time they broke it out tonight. See what Van Wert does against this. Caden Schaefer has the basketball now. Nearly knocked away by Kiesling. Wants to give into the corner, and it's gonna force the turnover. But Defiance can't really do anything with it as we've reached the half here in a Liberty Bet and our score at the break. It's Van Wert 32, Defiance 23, and you're watching Tournament Basketball Live on WOSN. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday, back with you here at Liberty Benton High School. We are at the half of this D2 Boys Hoop District Final where uh, Van Wert put on a show, more specifically Aiden Pratt put on a show, 32-23. Cougars uh, lead top seeded Defiance as the Eagle looks on here at Liberty Benton. Well, a good thing for Defiance, though, is you still have another half of basketball to play. You're not out of the game. Didn't play extremely well in the first half. And Coach Lehman, I thought, did a great job of role modeling, you know, trying to be patient, have confidence. Got to get stops, though. We're talking at halftime. You got to get some stops and then attach those some baskets. Boy, the first three, four minutes of this basketball game, so vital for Defiance to bring it back in this. And if you're Coach Lodica, the band at work Cougars, you just go in at halftime and say, great job, fellas. Let's keep doing that. <laughs> worst, what we're doing, let's worst, do that. Worst thing we had to do was stop for 10 minutes. Absolutely. So for our uh, live audience, uh, we've mentioned it a couple of times, the winner of this one's going to get either Rossford or Toledo Central Catholic at the Stroh Center. BG can tell you that uh, Rossford has a uh, slim lead at the half. I believe they said 1914. Yeah, 1914. Well, you're standing up 12 2 after the first 12 2 Rossford after one, and then that uh, was trimmed to 1914. So, two winners uh, set to square off. It'll be Defiance Ball to begin at quarter number three. Zach Rich wanted to give that patented move to the cutter along the baseline, well scouted by Van Wert, and they'll force the turnover. Yeah, problem was the reach, the athletic ability of Aiden Pratt. Affected the play, good tip by him, or else it would have been an easy basket by Braden Shaw. Pratt's got the ball in his hands. He had 13, 11 of them coming in that opening quarter. As him and Shaw just put on a show the opening eight minutes. Down to the baseline, and there's a good move and score out of Garrett Gunter. Now a little go-go Gunter on the baseline. Van Wert loves to attack. Gunter gets him started in the second half. Pushes that lead back to double digits once again. Three ball on the other end. Can't get it to go, and a nice job Pratt taking the rebound away. 34-23 in our scoreboard tonight again, brought to you by Lodix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Pratt. 
He'll work the baseline, has that one swatted away by Zach Rich. Shaw loses the handle on the way to the bucket, but it'll stay Defiance Ball. Uh, how about the defensive tip by Zach Rich to stop a free basket by Pratt? And Shaw initiates the contact that Phillips slides into the baseline padding. Kind of a good no call. Both guys playing extremely hard. So it looks like a little wet spot that uh, tournament uh, managers here at Liberty Bent cleaning up before we can, can continue. Off the inbound baseline, jumper is no good. Pratt with another rebound. Van Wert brings this one into the front court. Good spin. Gunner looking for some help. Has to kick it out to the wing. Carson Smith. Smith will have it knocked away, and it's going to stay Van Wert ball. Now that's what you got to do if, defi if you're defiant, though, right? Stay in front of these guys that love to dribble drive. And Van Wert just tore them apart, sliced and diced them defensively in the first half of the dribble drive. Sit in front and then stay in front. Contact off the inbound. And this will be a foul on Defiance. This is going to go on Isaac Schlotter. First of the half, his first. A good shot there, Ben Loddick, the head coach for Van Wert. Love the beard, don't you? Looks like Sean Connery. Love it, coach. Keep the beard. Do you, do you add a little gray to it? You just let that go natural. Oh, I think that's added, right? No way that's natural. There's a steal and a score for Defiance. So they got the stop, got the bucket as David Jimenez scores for the first time tonight. Back down to a single digit scheme. A rare run out for Defiance off the steal. They get Jimenez going defensively, turning those uh, steals into points. That'll be a, a big thing getting Defiance back in this game. The Defiance has had a few games where they've trailed and rallied back, so this isn't anything new for them. They were in a tight one, as we mentioned during our pregame with Shawnee in the district semis on Thursday. Van Wert trying to find somewhere. Pratt comes into the low block. Gunter going to go opposite of him. Splits the defenders. That one again partially blocked. The rebound comes back out. It was safe from going out of bounds to Van Wert. He'll get inside and they'll still score as Luke Wessel will find his way to the 10. Now the activity of Van Wert on the offensive rebounds. Just scrambling. Fighting a little bit harder than Defiance. Leads the points again. Wessel now with eight. Zachary's trying to get on the baseline, there's the kick out, extra pass, three ball, can't go on the bounce. Gunter comes up with a miss. No one will pick up Garrett Gunter, he gets the kick out, three on the other end, well off the mark, Pratt with it, and he's gonna be fouled on the putback. Well, you think tomorrow in film, Carson Smith's gonna say, coach, did you love that pass to Pratt on the weak side? Made it look like a three attempt, but I saw Pratt all by himself, coach. How many percent of rebounds is on the weak side? Oh, I love to say it. 80%. 80% of all rebounds go to the weak side. Aiden Pratt, he knew it. Is it the line is shooting two our free throws tonight? Brought to you by Lee's a famous recipe chicken is the first one is good for Pratt. Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphi is called Lee's. For all your catering needs, Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. Hey, do yourself a favor too. If you get some Lee's, the chicken's amazing. But don't forget the mashed potatoes and gravy. They are outstanding at Lee's. Had some Lee's chicken and some of their uh, macaroni and cheese in the media room. That was fantastic. Loved watching you eat it without a spoon also. That was great. Yeah. God gave me two spoons right here in the left and right hand. Baseline, the ball, and an offensive foul. Uh, this one's going to draw the ire. Bryn Lehman, boy, I just don't see it right there. Phillips kind of flops. Shaw, he's dismayed as well. Lead Dog says, I don't know. I didn't bite too hard on that one. Turnover gives the ball back over to the Cougars. Back up 11 here as we near the halfway mark of quarter number three. A nice matchup here with Frederick who checked into the game on uh, Aiden Pratt. A little mismatch inside. It's going to lead to the turnover. Shaw hung up, wasn't quite sure what to do with the basketball. Defiance will take over. 
Shaw Hill tried to go baseline and will get a whistle. Looks like a foul on the dribble drive. Yeah, you wonder if that's a little bit of a makeup, right? From the last trip down, the charge on Shaw Phillips. Just going to kind of lightly check him right there. I don't know if that's a, enough, but maybe even things up on the bad call the trip before. Yeah, first foul whistle against Van Wert here in the second half. Javin Saldana now in for the Bulldogs. Shaw has it at the wing. It's into the paint. He gets his spin. It's the kick out. Three ball from Schlotter. Can't go. Rebounds tipped up. Zacharich with it. Put back wild off the mark. And here comes Van Wert. Lane left open. As the bucket's going to be good for Carson Smith. Yeah, Carson Smith, one of the big scorers on this team. Ten points a game. Got things going against St. Mary's with the three ball. But this time, just splits the Red Sea. Big time delivery for Mr. Smith. He's going to head back to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. As Aiden Kiesling checks back into the lineup for Defiance. Bulldogs in a little bit of trouble as they're going to trail by 14 after the free throw. Now snacking on some big time danger right here. Down 14, not been able to put baskets together to cut into this lead and stack those with stops defensively. Instead, it's gone the opposite way. Ball's in, poked away from Zacharich. It's going to lead to a turnover. There's that man again, Aiden Pratt, poked it free. He has been a huge problem for Defiance all night long. Trying to find Pratt. Instead, they go right back to the same man, and Carson Smith gets his second bucket and another three-point opportunity. And Gunter gets in the ball on the perimeter, casing a little bit late to recover. Saldana doesn't close the door. They don't close the door. Go in and steal the TV. Smith. Does it again. So once again, Carson Smith, who just had a three-point play a moment ago, back to Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line to do the same thing, which he does. Smith now with 10, six of them in the last two trips. All of a sudden, it is a 42-25 lead for Van Wert in our Lodix Jewelry scoreboard. Zacharich pulls up from the elbow, can't get it to go. Put back is going to lead to the foul and an opportunity here for Khalil Ligon. 15 footer by Zach Rush, but Ligon just goes and gets the rebound. I like it, partner. He keeps the ball high on the attempt, which allows him to draw the foul. So he'll step up to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line to shoot two free throws. First one is good. He scores for the first time tonight. Still a 16 point lead for the Cougars here. Under two and a half minutes to go, quarter number three. As both free throws are good, and Defiance wants to take a timeout. Our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419 225 6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We'll take a break here. 2.28 to go in our third quarter with Van Wert up 15. Forty-two twenty-seven. The Van Wert students have a reason to be excited here as they are enjoying this one. The whiteout little dance-off going on in the student section. Yeah, how about the poor young lady in the middle? Everybody else having fun around her, and she was stoic as could be. Maybe nervous. Knows the comeback capability of Defiance. It's always a Debbie Downer in every crowd, right? <laughs> Oh, one of the coolest scenes you'll ever see, though, is after the made shot by A.J. Prophet the other night, student section just mobbed the floor, lift Prophet up on their shoulders. That was a fun scene. With the look inside, Pratt was double teamed. That allows Nate Phillips to come in and score. I was able to see that thanks to our WOSN cameras and the great work of Ken Reeker. A good call by 
Our man Danny Holbrook and Darn Evergall, they did a great job on that game. It's Phillips a little contact and a foul. Just, did he ever get excited about anything? Once he comes out of the shell, he's going to be a heck of a play-by-play -play guy. He will be. Minute 51 left to go here on our uh, third quarter in our Lodix Jewelry scoreboard. It's Van Wert with a couple of changes. Defiance trying to find something. There's another steal as Aiden Pratt will take one away. Uncharacteristic. This is a Defiance team that only turns it over about nine times a game. But tonight, turnovers are plenty authored by Van Wert. Turnovers, missed shots. Those things will hurt you, and that's been the case so far. Van Wert saw them do this in the second quarter. Trying to run some time off the clock. Good floater in the lane, banks off the window and in. As Carson Smith beginning to have himself a big day. A high glass smooch by Carson Smith. He is sliced and diced defensively. He's this Bulldog defense in the third quarter. He's got 12 now to go along with Pratt's 13. Here is Shaw, his three's no good. Pratt with another rebound. Pratt thought about taking everyone one-on-one, -on -one, and then the, here's Coach Lodick telling everyone to clear out. And they may try to run off the final 35 seconds of the quarter. Got to have that coach's voice, right? Real loud. No, pull it out. Coach Lodick got the attention of the superstar, Aiden Pratt. Garrett Gunter's got the basketball right now between the timeline and the volleyball line. That's kind of playing with house money right here. Doesn't matter who gets the shot. You're up big. Handoff right now is for Smith. Smith giving go, and it's going to be the little finger roll. Pratt was trying to get everyone ready to go. And how about the steal and score? What a way to end the third quarter. Aiden Pratt, a big three-pointer. 51-27 Van Wert. We'll have the fourth quarter for you next. Oh, what a sequence to end that third quarter by Aiden Pratt. He ripped off a four points in succession in the final <laughs> seconds. Yeah, first a backdoor cut with a high finger roll. Looked like he was going to try and Slam it down, didn't have enough lift in the legs, but then the wherewithal to get the steal and the skills to bury the three. So 51-27, Van Wert, eight minutes away from a spot in the regional tournament at Bowling Green, and Garrett Gunner will take on two defenders and score. Now we highlighted Go-Go Gunter early in the uh, pregame. He is such a tough matchup because of his quickness. Go-Go Gunter, easy. On the two. Defiance trying to find some offense. Won't come from the elbow. Good look by Zachers. Can't get it to fall. That has been just Defiance's night right there. Pratt turns down the corner three. Gets the kick out top of the key. As Van Wert will run some of this time off. Now 53-27 on our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Lodix Jewelry. Yeah, going to go four corners here, spread it out, work on the clock. Got the huge lead, shorten this game if you're Van Wert. Remember, no shot clock, so you can hold it on forever. Really put this defiance defense in a bind. This is what Van Wert appears to do here in no hurry. They just work the ball around. Gunter. Comes to the free throw line, gets the kick out, back out to Phillips. They're gonna run and jump now, try to get a trap. But Phillips, tough to trap him, he's so quick. Three ball's no good, but Van Wert, the offensive rebound. So they'll get another opportunity. And now we'll get a whistle and a foul. That's gonna allow him to bring Braden Shaw back on the floor. Defiance gets uh, the lead dog back on there, and there's going to be a timeout. 
And again, our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Six oh two left to play. See the uh, filled up defiance crowd. Absolutely stunned tonight. Not uh, not only are their Bulldogs getting beat, but as you see on the scoreboard, you can see it uh, on our scoreboard and scoreboard hanging up here. 53-27. And now Defiance will foul once again. That's going to send Van Wertz into the bonus. That will be the seven, so we got a one and one. Well, if there is a weakness of this Van Wert team, uh, free throw shooting not great. Only 60% as a team on the year at Gunter, 50%. Makes the first one. Just kind of that night, though, for Van Wert. Hits the rim, rolls around, and falls in for him. Second one, he'll leave a little short, and the rebound is grabbed by Defiance. Bulldogs into the front court. Right to the basket, can't get that one to roll off the rim. Put back is up and good out of Tyler Frederick as he scores for the first time tonight. Yeah, Defiance can extend full court, man. <laughs> and now we'll get a whistle, and it looks like a foul again. And gonna put Nate Phillips at the line, the senior. 50% for him at the free throw line. Kind of like the strategy here by Defiance. The foul early, a lot of time on the clock. Trade two for one. He tried to extend this game as long as they can. Still 5.38 left to go. A lot of jewelry scoreboard. And again, our free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphos. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. But an offensive rebound. How many times have we said that tonight? Now it's a back tap by Pratt. How many times he said his name, authored with a great play. Still have a while before we get to an uh, interview with our hardwood hero, but have an idea who might be the clubhouse leader in that one right now. As a foul here with 5.15 to go. If there's a green jacket to give them, he might be putting it down already. They're sizing them. Garrett Gunter back to the line. He'll shoot the final one and one of the night. As Defiance committed their eighth team foul here with 5.15 to go. Steps up to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. And he'll hit the first. Carson Smith might want to hope that the jacket fits him as well, though. He's had also a solid game. Yeah, his third quarter was sensational for the Cougars. So Garrett Gunder gets both free throws. He's got nine, and it's 56-29, our Lodix Jewelry scoreboard. Shaw gives Zacharich. Zacharich for three, banks it off the window and in. <laughs> High smooch by Zacharich, his first three ball of the night. Normally a 42% shooter, 100% that time. And we'll have a foul well before the layup in transition. Still gonna lead to two free throws here. Kiesling's going to pick up the foul. His second, the team's 10th. It's back to Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line of Garrett Gunter shooting the double bonus. And he'll bury the first. I'm always amazed, you know, guys that have a 50% free throw shooting. You look at him, you're like, oh, that's not very good. But in the fourth quarter, some guys, their percentage goes way up. Mm -hmm. They kind of Relish those moments. You wonder if Gunter is one of those guys. And Van Wert will split the pair there. So here's Shaw in the lane. He's able to score. So Braden Shaw has been held uh, in check after that big first quarter. Makes it 57 34. As the fouls continue here with 4 37 to go. One of those games where how many. Does Van Wert need to make for Defiance to realize that uh, what they're doing isn't working? Now about Braden Shaw though fighting there. Dove into the scorer's table. 
Almost took over, took out some guy over there in a defiance basketball jersey. So Luke Wessel able to get the first free throw with the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Second one, good. I don't know, is that like someone trying to check in? I don't, why are you wearing a jersey down there? It is a little bit weird. Maybe it's an official score. Zacharis for three again. Ball tipped out. Shaw will step into one. That one will rattle around and fall through. Yeah, Braid Shaw likes two. Likes two, but really loves three. They need a lot of those to get back in this one. Yeah, Shaw's got 16. Now a couple more Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws coming here with 418 left showing on our Lottix Jewelry scoreboard. Now Aiden Pratt, one of the top free throw shooters on this Cougar team, 69% from the line. What a stat line for him. 47% from the field, 44% from behind the arc, and then 69 with the free throw line. This one we're throwing some flowers at him, though. A little comebacker. This is the first one there. He'll get one more. Misses them both. A big box out on the rebound. Ball's knocked out of bounds. It's going to belong to Defiance. Coach Lodick looks like he wants a timeout, so we'll step aside again. Our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Still 416 left to play in this one. Timeout down on the floor. We'll take one as well. You're watching high school basketball live on WOSN. So 4.16 left to go here in this one. 59-37, Van Wert in search of their first appearance in the regional tournament, first district title since 2011. Defiance, by the way, hasn't won a district title since winning the state title in 2015. Here's Shaw, high off the window, can't get it to go. And we're gonna have a foul on the rebound as Pratt and Zacharich got tangled up. Yeah, interesting. Thought it was kind of a play on. They're gonna say Aiden Pratt. A little more, a little too physical on Aiden Zacharich. Just the fourth team foul whistled against the Cougars. Entry pass knocked away. Another turnover. Garrett Gunter able to bring the ball into the front court. Push. Yeah, Keith was trying to, to hit the foul. Wasn't he? Yeah. And foul is committed here with 348 remaining. Two, Notice, at least from our vantage point, every time there's a stoppage when Van Wert goes sure. to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw First line. There's groups of maybe four or five blue clad fans from Defiance making their way towards the exits. Carson Smith able to get the first free throw. Now it's been a tremendous year for Defiance. 21 and four coming into the night. Had that epic battle with OG in the WBL de facto championship game. Shaw step back, he'll fire away from deep. That one's gonna be no good and now a little hand fighting. Zacharich is gonna pick up the foul fighting for the rebound. <laughs> Now you got to take threes to get back in this thing. Uh, Shaw with a three attempt, and boy, they're going to call Zachary. I thought it was going to be on the Ligon. Little push into the back of Nate Phillips. So Nate Phillips heads to our Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima Wapak and Delphos. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Now Phillips hits absolutely everything on that free throw attempt, except for the net. See if he straightens out on this one. Yeah, there's no problem with that one. Seven points tonight, now 62-37, our Lottix Jewelry scoreboard. Zacharich, he'll let fly a three. He'll hit that one. And it's gonna lead to a Metzger Financial Services timeout, so we'll step aside as well. 3.28 to play, still Van Wert comfortably ahead of Defiance.
328 left to play, 62-40. Van Wert with the lead uh, over Defiance. And again, our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So 328 left to go on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix. Dot com and Van Wert back to our free throw line tonight brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken. They should name it a, a diamond ring or at least some kind of nice looking gem at Lodix after Aiden Pratt because he's been a gem here tonight, hasn't he? Carson Smith able to get the first free throw. Maybe, uh, Miles, you have to go visit them in the offseason, see if we can work something out. <laughs> a little giveaway for uh, after games. Yeah, that'd be a nice giveaway. How's the diamonds? <laughs> a loose ball on the floor. Pratt with a steal. And you got to feel like it's coming. There's the big tomahawk. Aiden yeah. Pratt, yes, you can. A little dunkalicious. Gives him 20 tonight. Just to put the exclamation point on this one. Zacharich again from deep. So Zacharich has as many threes as he does twos tonight. Too little, too late for the Bulldogs. Down 23, just under three to go. As Defiance will continue to foul and Pratt is gonna go to the line as he's gonna jump right into your living room right here. Now watch Aiden Pratt. All by his lonesome. Boy, he couldn't wait to attack this rim. Dunkalicious time. Van Wert, two scoops. He's got to step a little further back here. This is the first free throw no good. Let's see if we can get an update for our live crowd on what's going on the other D2 Northwest District's championship game. Pratt gets the second free throw thanks to the WOSN app. Still 19-14 according to our scoreboard. And there's a whistle and a foul trying to reach in on Brayton Shaw. Well, you can't see it, but man, Coach Log just put his hand on his forehead for Van Wert saying, why are we fouling, fellas? That's a big lead. The clock is our friend. Let that thing tick. Ball thrown away, or tipped, I should say, off the inbound. A nice move by Bryn Lehman, head coach of the Bulldogs, putting Xavier Irvin in, the 65 senior. Now, this is not going to be the outcome that Defiance wants, but get the senior on the floor. Shaw tried to bank in the three, it's off the iron. So we can give you an update. Two minutes left, Rossford with a lead over Toledo Central Catholic, 36-29. As there's now a foul committed just inside half court. Now Zacharich is gonna commit the foul for Defiance. And had that big three a couple possessions ago and you see why colleges like Caden Zacharich, got a 6-6 that can stretch the floor from the perimeter. He's gonna get a big round of applause as he comes off the floor along with other seniors for Defiance. Uh, it was one of your keys to the game tonight, Miles. We've talked about this. Large senior class for Defiance. You know, we've uh, been a part of some of their basketball games now for what, three years, right, since they were sophomores. sophomores yep. And this was the group and this was the year they were kind of looking on. And for the most part, they've delivered. Now, they'll tell you tonight that the season was an underachievement, not winning the district. Well, everybody's going to be disappointed when you lose, right? But a 21-4, yeah, great kids to, to cover. They're always competitive, but individually just tremendous young men. Right. And as it's, it was explained, and when you really think about it, only four teams in the whole state of Ohio end their season with wins. So right. You explained that to me last week. After each game, uh, guys don't get to play anymore. Which is, uh, wait, what do you mean? It, this is over? Makes it more important that you right. win, right? What do you, what do you mean? No, I got another year. That can't be right. 
Both free throws in and out for Luke Wessel. And now the foul coming there, and that is to Wessel knew he was coming out because he missed the free throw, so he just wraps his arms around him. So 2.16 now remaining. As both teams are gonna go deep into their benches here. Play this out. Bulldogs with a basketball, jumper there, no good. Rebound gonna be ripped away. As Connor Campbell comes away with it, it's number 23 for Van Wert. Caden Schaefer, number two, also on the floor. We also see Ryland Miller, number 20. And Colin Haggerty, number 24. Dribble handoff for Haggerty. Needs help, gives behind him. Ball lost, it's gonna be saved from going out of bounds. Nice play under the hoop made there by Brogan Castillo. Defiance to come away with it. And the other end, three ball from the wing, no good out of Saldana. Van Wert will get it again. Under 90 seconds to play in this district championship game from Liberty Benton. New uh, site for this district as well. Spent a good time at Ohio Northern, also a year at Spencerville. Now being moved here to great confines of Liberty Benton High School. Cougars trying to run out this final minute five in our Lodix Jewelry scoreboard. Haggerty under the basket, it's break free and he'll score. And now a whistle. This will allow some substitutions to come in. Now for the quick stoppage, play resumes, just under a minute left to go. Here from Liberty Bent, pull up jumper from the elbow, no good, good look, just didn't go for Khalil Ligon. As Van Wert will have to bring the ball into the front court with Caden Schaefer. Schaefer comes to the free throw, I'm sorry, the uh, three point line off to the wing. Now to Campbell, then back out. Under 30 seconds to play. Defiance still getting on defensively. Force Van Wert to move a little bit. Now they'll back up here. As the final 15 seconds left to run off the clock. So teams beginning to shake hands. The players know it on the floor. Van Wert faithful making some noise. Student section fired up as the Van Wert Cougars are headed back to the regional for the first time since 2011. Our final tonight, Van Wert 69, Defiance 43. We'll take a timeout when we come back. We'll head down to the floor with our Miles Holiday. He'll check in with our hardwood hero when we return. Sixty-nine of 43, our final. The Van Wert Cougars off to the regional at the Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University for the first time since 2011. They'll be in action on a Thursday night. Now Part of that is the uh, big night of Aiden Pratt. <laughs> 20 points offensively, everything else he did defensively, and he's down on the court with our Miles Holiday. Uh, uh, Aiden Pratt going back to the regional for the first time since 2011. You really established an intensity level early in this game. What was your mindset coming out in this one? Um, we've had a lot of highs and lows throughout the season, and we haven't won a tournament game in four years till this year. So it was, we, uh, our team wanted to be the guys to do it. And after the first one and the second one, we had a great ending here on th uh, Wednesday or Thursday night, and we wanted to do the same thing tonight. And it's an honor to play with these guys, play in front of these fans. We just had a great time tonight, and it was a good win. You guys feel like you might be a team of destiny after that unbelievable win the other night and then dominating here tonight? Absolutely. I think 1 through one through 15 right now, everyone's putting in hard work at practice, and it's showing in our games. The last three weeks of practice, our, our intensity in the game has gone up tremendously, and it, show, it showed here tonight. Yeah, your student body was fantastic. Your fans showed up in a big way. How much fun has this week been for you? It's awesome. I love what I love almost the most about basketball is seeing the smiles on everyone's faces in the stands. That makes me smile more than anything else, and 
I love playing in front of my friends, my classmates, my family, and my brothers on the team. It's just I can't explain it enough how much that uh, that means to me. And not only do you get to hoist the trophy today for the district championship, you got the WOSN championship belt, and you get to cut the net. What's this mean? How special is this moment? It's awesome. Uh, uh, first WBL game of the year. We lost to these guys by seven at their place. I told coach in the locker room, we'll see him again. And we did. And we handled business. He was all business today, Randy. Congratulations, Aiden Pratt. A dominant force in this game. Keep it moving into regional, buddy. Yeah, one of uh, four players for Van Wert to end up in double figures tonight. Pratt with 20, Carson Smith 16, Luke Wessel, and Garrett Gunter each add 10 as the net cutting has uh, not quite begun as they still have to go through the individual awards for each team, but there is the championship belt on full display as uh, these teams have uh, really begun, the uh, really have started to enjoy what we provide here at WOSN. So there's the uh, team photo with the belt. So good, good look for Van Wert. As again, they'll take their 18 and seven record into the regional next week. We want to thank everyone who made our night here in the Liberty Benton possible. Starts with uh, Scott Garlock, Nate Irwin, the athletic directors here at Liberty Benton High School. Can't thank uh, Tony Malenga off to my left enough for the work he's done all night with the great work. And of course, our, per, our director and producer, the great Ken Rieger. So 69-43, our final Van Wert moves on. They're in the regional for the first time since 2011 with a win over Defiance. So for my partner, Miles Holiday, and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching Tournament Basketball Live here tonight on WOSN.